I mentioned before that um, I actually tried G Fuel, which is an energy drink, because I've heard people talking about it, and you know what, maybe I wanted to try something out. I did try some out, and we talked about it on the show that I just thought it was alright, but I did notice that I was, you know, I felt more awake. I felt more awake, I was more attentive. So I decided, you know what, maybe I'll get more. Maybe I'll get more of this stuff, so I got some flavor I liked. Got a flavor I liked, and sent it. they sent it to me. And uh, a week after I got it, I got an email that made me regret ever giving these people money. Why? You... The, the heading of the, of the email says, G Fuel is love, G Fuel is life. And I'm just sitting to myself wondering, what have I done? <laughs> also, there's a Yeti. Yeti? Yeah, Yeti. Um. Okay, there's. They're gonna feed the goat to the Yeti. Oh no. He didn't eat the goat. He ate the people. Yeah. So the the unique thing about Spyro 2's world is that they're all they're all given the um these uh these intro cutscenes which are really nice. And that and the they have outro cutscenes when you leave the level two. I kinda I really do wish they um shit. I do wish that they could have given them to the other games as well, because you know, it was a reimagining, they could have done a lot more, but eh, what are you gonna do? Also, they don't have the same chant as the um, as uh, the original. In the original, they went, -ay 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 -ay. whatever. Eh. People, I just want you to know, people care about shit. People care about these things. We'll care about the little details. I do. Tiny details that I don't know. That's one thing I will knock Spyro Reignited. This that the sound, like the sound design, isn't as memorable. And I don't mean like the the music, but Funny sound many effects. How are you gonna just pass by those two gems back there? Enemies like those yachts. What? Where? In the grass near the wall. Listen, <laughs> I don't have excuses. <laughs> I don't really think the um the sound effects in this game are as memorable as the original. Cause like, I, I was playing, I was playing Spyro Three on on Switch, and it was like, it just really shows like, whenever like just how unmemorable the sound effects are. Cause in the originals, every like every enemy had their own sound for being killed. But in Reignited, every yet every enemy goes like, ooh, uh, ooh. And it's just like they're all they just all sound generic. It's kind of disappointing. It doesn't ruin the entire game, but it's a factor. Are these like yeah. monks or something? What gave you that idea, Rob? Freaking they're stuck they have there. Good magical powers for some reason. Uh, did it have anything to do with the fact that the area they're in is like a Himalayan monastery or something? I'm mostly just confused why have, they have weird blue wings coming out of their stomach. Be because they're they're chanting. They have magic chants. Listen, we're playing as a tiny purple dragon. I don't think you can really question things. <laughs> All right. You purple dragons are adorable. Weird blue spirals coming out of your stomach are worrying. Oh, you think they? You think these people are actually diseased? Probably. Like, what is so funny? They, they were all banished to this mountain for quarantine. He's pretty tough, though. In fact, yeah. I'm not sure you're up to it. I'm up to it, baby. He doesn't look like shit. So they hype it up like it's a this is some kind of boss fight. And then he just dies. 
spoilers. He was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. Stop that. We just ate two people before we got here. Sure, the Yeti didn't eat. Yeah. He like he like barfs up an entire skeleton and is like, well, I thought it was tougher than that. Oh, I mean, to be fair, this game actually does get kind of dark with its cutscenes. It does. You you'll you'll see. We'll all see when we get to this certain areas. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we got the power of jumping. Wait. Yeah. Wee. Yeah. All right. Hey, buddy. Oh no. You well, the dark. That was Satan. You just suddenly Satan on the world. We're all gonna die. All right. All right. Flame the statues. Okay, because the evil spirit Satan's hiding in these statues. Yep. As you all this one Satan. Uh. Because for some reason the statues go from being Buddhist monks that are meditating with what looks to be golf clubs to holding fucking swords. Um, they're hockey sticks. Okay. Um, they're get it right, sticks. Robert. I nice. thought you were a Spyro 2 expert. I did not say that. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> In my head, Cannon, you did. You're the only one who's ever said that. Does Puck literally not do its job? No. In the I was kind of hoping that... I was kind of hoping that maybe with the Switch release, they might, like, fix some of the graphical glitches. Like, remember in Spyro 3, like, when... When we went back to one of the previous worlds and all the NPCs were just there and disappeared? Yeah. That's still a thing. Fox literally just doesn't do his job. You sat there staring at that gym and he didn't pick it up. Yeah. There are a lot of, like, tiny things that just don't seem to work in this game, and it's unfortunate. I mean, it's still a good game, don't get me wrong, but I was still kind of hoping they would fix it. Yeah. In the Switch release, but I guess not. It is really unfortunate. Like, when I just flamed that statue and it didn't do anything. Yep. Yeah. Are there any statues over here? There are any statues I should know about? No, there but there are gems. Two purple ones too. Alright. Damn penguin. Go back to Club Penguin, you stupid abomination. Well that got destroyed. They have to go to the weird fan made club playing one now. Oh but they more look like the penguins from Surf's Up. Oh yeah, they do. I forgot about that movie. Well, what is what is that species actually called? That the species of penguin. Come on, Rob. I thought you were a Spyro 2 expert. Tamo, that's not a funny joke. Come, Ro Rob. Since you're a Spyro 2 expert, you should know what that penguin species is called. Because it's in Spyro 2. <coughs> Come on, Rob. You're slacking. You're slacking. You're slacking. You're stacking. You're the spiral fanboy. I am. You should know everything. I... I actually did start crying when this game was first revealed. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I was like... Because <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> uh, this game is a part of my childhood and I love it. Yeah. I... I think there are statues up here? No, I guess not. Screw you, buddy, in a challenge. I'm looking for statues. Also, it really irks me that you can't jump. On the can't ice. jump on your on ice, yeah. Yep. There's one more. Where is it? Here it is. Yeah. Well done, Spyro. You've scared the evil spirit oh, away. Spyro. Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. They don't need yeah, I borrowed it. <laughs> Definitely didn't murder thousands just to get it. <laughs> I borrowed it since they don't need it. <laughs> you stole it. Yeah, Rob, that was literally the joke I was making. God damn it. 
No, you were making a murder joke. Not only is the Spyro 2 expert, but he's also a joke thief. Not only is Demo dumb, but he's also really stupid. <laughs> Those two words mean the same thing, Rob. I know they do. That was the point. You're so stupid, I had to say it twice. I just think you're dumb. Hey everyone, Rob is dumb. <laughs> Hashtag Rob is dumb. Let's get it trending on Twitter. Hashtag Rob is dumb. Hashtag dumb Rob. Demo, I will leave. Hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. I can't get it. I, I will never be able to get anything trending on Twitter unless, like, I'm actually, you know, a recognizable person. I know. All right. Now time to play ice hockey. Not cat hockey. Where's the where's the puck? Where's the puck? Where's the puck? Where's the puck? Mine. Mine. Mine, mine, mine. Eh. I remember this being actually really tough. Oh, it's, fuck it. It's really easy until you get to later points. Shush. Mine. Eh. Don't, don't, yeah. Oh, I'm such an embarrassment. They're gonna kick me off the team. Oh, what am I to do? What am I to do? I won't- Oh, no! I could have easily moved in front of the, the puck, but oh... I can't do it. I'm so incompetent. He doesn't even have a hands that he can use! I mean, unless he's driving. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh, Spyro amazing. Yeah, he drives a cart now. Yeah. yeah. Somehow. I want you guys to know I got CTR Nitro Fuel just for Spyro. Yeah. It's actually a really fun game. I kind of like it better than Mario Kart, actually. Somehow he drives a cart with four legs. He just sits upright. <laughs> that does not sound good. You are shooting at the red... Whatever. They're bears. It's like it's like if Pikachu it's like it's like if Pikachu stood up. No, oh, mine. Yeah. It's like it's, it's like how Pikachu is somehow quadrupedal. You son of a bitch! Damn it. Come on, Goldie guy. You're supposed to be my teammate. Uh No! This is the hard part. Oh, come on! Now, let me just cheat real quick. Oh, come on! Damn, hockey's- hockey's violent. Give me that- Yes! <laughs> Oh. oh. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. Yeah, it's really nope. easy to just do that constantly. Alright, I got it now. Good thing that guy is really slow. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Mm. Oh. Oh, if only I could predict that, because he keeps doing the same thing over and over again. I'm like Rob when Damo uses Lucas and PK freezes him. Hey, stop that. You really gonna say nothing about that, Rob? Hey, hey I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. He wants to go cry because he can't beat Lucas. If you stare at it long enough, you might not see anything. Well, I guess... I guess that's one way to put it, considering it's like... Frickin' blindsides you. All orbs collected. Hey, it's a good thing we got for using Spyro's sunglasses in this one. Oh, he doesn't have to worry about going blind. 
and those fucking glowing gems. And where the rest of the... Did I say gems? I meant orbs. Whatever. If only we gotta... Wait. Door. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Gems? Gems? There we go. There we go. All right. All right. Now we can return to the other realm. Didn't do it like that, idiot. No. Don't dance. Sing. Oh no, I gotta hide the body! I gotta skip town! Change my name and everything! Okay. Oh. I'm back. Rob! I was just gonna say, Avalar is... Avalar is full of... Nothing but murderers. Yep. Murderers. My internet kind of just died while you were doing ice hockey. Eh. That happens to the best of us. So aren't the orbs supposed to be floating? Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Alright, so... We have a total of 800 gems. Money back. So we can... Just have a swim. Would you like to learn yep. To swim underwater? Underwater, that's a good distinction to make, Rob. A small fee. A small fee. Alright. Uh, apparently, I don't know if you've been um keeping track of um PlayStation's Twitter account, but apparently the X button has always been the cross button. Apparently. It has been. No one called it. No, that. it hasn't. No one called it that now mm. because that's stupid. No, it's always been the X button. It's always been the X button. In in the first Spyro game, they they specifically say X button. Shut up. <laughs> they say the X symbol and button. They don't say X button. Okay. But they don't say cross. No, they, no one ever says cross. They just show the picture of the button, and therefore it's an X symbol. People call it the X button because it's an X button. No, the dialogue said X. With the voiceover. Um. They had voiceovers back then, Rob. Urgh. Hmm, maybe I could use this to gain my sexual pleasures. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yep. He just wanted to find love. Mm. Yep. The idols we were carving have come to yeah. life. They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food. Well, looks like you're going hungry. Yep. yep. I do not care.